We're talking about resilience today and two simple things that you can do. One, you actually already do day in and day out that will get you more resilient. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the Tough Love Mom Podcast, where you'll get the equipping and encouragement you need to do the hard things that lead to a healthy life. I'm Liz, and I'm a mom just like you. I've struggled in my journey, but I overcame by educating myself and by hearing about moms who had done hard things too. Get ready for the information you want and the motivation you need. You ready, friend? It's tough love time. All right, before we even go into these ways to get more resilient, you've got to know what it means. And you know I love a good definition. So resilience is defined as your capacity or your ability to withstand or recover quickly from difficulties. So think about something you've gone through that's difficult or challenging. It could be a small or minute, like one day type of thing, like a workout or a longer season, a longer stretch of something difficult, how quickly you recovered from that or withstood that span of time, your mindset throughout it, how you dealt with your emotions gives you an insight into your resilience in that situation. And now how you are able to handle that doesn't define you as good or bad, but we always want to be growing in our resilience because it helps us teach our children emotional resilience and how to handle emotions and how to handle these difficult situations and just walk through them. So I think, and I believe that growing our resilience in many different ways, physically, mentally, emotionally, relationally is great. And we should always be looking for opportunities to increase those. So I'm going to share with you two things that will help grow your resilience that you can tap into right now. The first is a daily workout. And I'm not saying like seven intense days a week, but choosing four to five days a week to do something a little, a little more resistance training or higher level intensity, and then taking a couple days to maybe do some walking or something restorative like yoga or stretching or mobility, but doing something daily that will physically challenge and engage your body. And when I say physically challenge, I'm not talking about, again, going out and sweating and feeling like you just want to lay on the floor afterwards, but doing something every day that's getting your body moving and is challenging you a little bit mentally, but physically as well. Just moving your body around doing that daily is not only growing your physical resilience, but it's growing your ability to mentally bounce back from things that are tough. Because when we do something difficult physically, we're way more likely to be engaging our mindset, taking control of thoughts that aren't helpful and doing things that are again, growing your resilience in other aspects as well. Now, the other thing that I think will help you grow in your resilience, and this is something you're already doing day in and day out is being a mom. And all you need to do for this is just be more aware of what you're doing and how you're engaging things. To get more resilient, you have to go through hard things, right? You can't just stop when you start facing them and decide to you know, run away from your problem. You have to walk through them to grow that resilience. And you've done that. You've probably already done that. I can, I can guarantee as a mom that you have. Birthing your child, no matter how you did it, becoming a mom, that was tough. No matter what path you took to get there and what you do day in and day out, as a mom has its hard moments as well. So what I want you to do now that you know what resilience means and you have these two simple ways that you can engage and grow it is spend some time today reflecting on what you have gone through in the past that has grown your resilience. Sometimes we're just so focused on getting through the day to day that we don't recognize what you have accomplished in that, how you have grown, how much stronger you've gotten, right? It's that ability to withstand or recover quickly from difficulties. When you're training, when you're working out and your heart rate goes up, how quickly your heart rate can get back to a lower uh, intensity, like a lower temp, a lower rate, (laughs) how, how much quicker it can recover indicates your cardiovascular health. So when it comes to that mental and physical ability to be resilient, the quicker you can recover, the stronger you've gotten at that. So I want you to reflect back and think, What have you gone through that's grown you in this area? And then think of what you do daily. Like as a mom, what's tough right now? Because that in itself is growing your resilience. I had a stretch of time where my kids were waking up so super early and yes, it was frustrating. And I, I was sometimes having to get up even earlier. So I had a little time before they got up, 
But what it was growing in me is my ability, ability to be more patient and be more flexible and be resilient to these frustrations that come up as a mom. So think of what's happening daily in your life that's already helping you grow that resilience and then decide on something that you can improve on or focus your attention towards or just be more aware of in what you're doing in your day to day to continue growing in this area. I know you're so capable of it, mama. You're more resilient than you realize, to be honest. So I just want to remind you of that today and point out some ways that you can be more aware of things that'll help you grow your resilience. Go get after it. Before you go, thank you for spending this time with me on the Tough Love Mom podcast. If this episode encouraged you in any way, the number one way you can thank me is to leave a review, letting me know how the show has impacted you. Then send this episode to another mom friend or take a screenshot, post it on social media and tag me so I can personally thank you for helping me on this journey to impact thousands of moms. I'm so grateful to be on this journey with you, sister. Until next time, get after it.